I love his mother's outfit, though. Do I think the North Highlands is where Dreykel started gathering his army? I hate everything. This is delicious. How do you get it to taste so good? We season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt, then wrap it and cook it. It's made to the taste of us Highlanders, so I wasn't sure if you Erebonians would like it. All I can say is, I'll be wanting second soon. These grilled skewers are really good too. They've got this deep, rich flavor. The way the sister in the middle of the of Toma and the father is sitting, like her legs do not look natural right there. Maybe we'll learn about where he started his journey. Guys are so beat to be. Those are kebabs. We just stick some lamb meat on the skewer and grill it. You want me to suffer. The food here is exquisite. I've never tasted its like. I almost feel sorry for that the rest of our class isn't here to enjoy it. I'm glad you think so. Here I was, worrying that the taste might not agree with you. Everyone loves mommy's cooking. No doubt you're all tired for your, from your long journey. Every Any moment, moment now, he's going to also say the same thing about Dreykels' nonsense, and it's just going to be that much worse. Nord Cuisine is effective at easing fatigue. That's important when you travel as much as we do. I can see why. I already feel a little more relaxed. Maybe I should get these recipes so I can teach them to Sharon. Um, try some of this tea, too. We make it with local herbs. It's supposed to be good for digestion. Oh, thank you, I will. It has a very gentle taste. The land of Nord is nothing if not a free country. I have no doubt your time here will make for a very unique experience, though not without inconveniences here and there. Still, these highlands have plenty of history with your own homeland. I hate everything. Might you be referring to the story of Emperor Dreykels? This should be a drinking game in and of itself. We've been learning in class how, during the War of the Lions, he first started gathering his army here in Nord. That's right! Tales of Emperor Dragos' exploits are passed down here in Nord, too. Free me! After the war ended, he became Emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of Nord. That friendship has held strong to this day, and I pray it'll continue far into the future. You're glad we learned about Dreykels? <sighs> I see while well, the people of Nord are not counted as true Erebonians. They are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. Why don't I want a history class? Normally, I love history class. I don't love learning the same fact 80 million times. But to be fair, I did like fail our midterm, so maybe I do need to be told the same fact a million times to actually get it. Maybe I do. That's about how it shakes out, though recently the Kalbard Republic has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to cultivate good relations with the people there, but the Republic's forays into the highlands have certainly created tension. Empire and the Republic are old foes after all. I wonder if we'll get to see Kilika in this game. Thankfully, we've managed to avoid any armed conflicts in the last few years. I don't want to see- what was his name? Rocksmith? I don't want to see that guy. I want to see Kilika. 
Although politically and economically, relations between the two are only growing worse. It seems likely that simmering conflict is what led to the incident in Crossbell last month. No doubt any outgrowth of the ongoing conflict between the pro-Calvardian and pro-Arabonian forces in their governments. So it seems. Be that as it may, to both countries, Nord is a remote region of relatively little importance. While there is a military presence in the Highlands, that's not something you should have to worry about during your stay. So what you're saying is I'm definitely going to have to worry about it during my stay. Just try to focus on your field study while you're here. We'll do what we can. You must be the one who chose our tasks for this month's field study, right? Indeed I did. Though the hour is already late, I'll give you your tasks in the morning. As for the area you'll cover in your study, I think it would be wise to focus on the southwestern plains tomorrow morning. The southwest, huh? We crossed that area in our trek here today, I believe. Yep, the highlands are a vast, wide open space. They extend well past the northern end of the settlement too, but let's just start with the southwestern plains. Sounds good to me. How are they carting that really expensive looking drawer situation behind us across the highlands? Those look heavy as crap. Or those massive jars that his mother's looking at for that same reason. So everything we've got on the agenda for tomorrow will be in the Southwest. It's painted cardboard. <laughs> Everything makes sense now. Exactly. Try and be back at the settlement around noon, Gaius. I'll give you the remaining tasks after our midday meal. Got it, Dad. Anyway, here I am talking your ear off when you should be letting when I should be letting you get some rest after your long day. We rise before the sun here, so sleep well. Morning will come sooner than you think. The place we prepared for you has beds ready. Can you show them the way, guys? Sure thing. I want to show them the way, too. Me, too. Come on. I'm sure Bro can handle it on his own. <laughs> Thank you so much for the meal. Good night, everyone. Getting some good rest is a good idea. Yeah, if we're waking up at, like, 5 a.m., Disgusting. Could not be me. Sorry, I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we've got. Oh, don't worry about it. Rain and Eusis are both gentlemen, after all. We have nothing to worry about. I mean... Emma will literally murder them with one spell if uh, they try anything. But of course. Thanks, guys. You'll be staying over at your family's place then. My sisters both insisted on it. I couldn't turn them down. So Gaius isn't a gentleman? Gaius is such a gentleman that it doesn't even need to be stated. Will it be all right if I come in and wake you guys up at sunrise? Yeah, sounds fine. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep the moment my head hits the pillow. By all means, get your beauty sleep. All right, pleasant dreams, everyone. Good night, guys. He's quite the fortunate man. I thought the same thing while we were eating dinner. He's got those adorable siblings, two parents who really care about him. I can see where Gaius gets his calm and level-headed personality. Part of a caring family growing up side by side with nature like this. 
It's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. True enough. Anyway, it sounds like we've got an agonizingly early wake-up call coming our way. We should get some sleep. No objection from me. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep on my feet at this rate. Well, let's get dressed for bed and turn off the lights. June 27th. <sighs> that was quite the groan. Where am I? Oh, right. Lord Highlands. I feel surprisingly energetic. Maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. Suddenly voiced, this game makes no sense to me. I wonder if Master Kafai trained out in the wilderness like this. Master who? You're up early, Reen. Morning, guys. I love your outfit. Whoa, hold on. Why are you dressed like that? Because it's more stylish. Oh, I was just helping put the sheep out to pasture. I should almost be done fixing the morning meal now. Okay. I guess we should wake up the others then. Yusis, Lisa, Emma. You sound so energized, Reen. DLC clothes? <gasps> Is this an outfit that I can make him wear, like, permanently? Rise and shine, everyone. It's officially the crack of dawn. Where am I? Are those sheep? Oh, glasses. Glasses. <laughs> you guys. I suppose none of you are used to waking up quite this early. I'm pretty sure my copy of the game came with the DLC. I think we looked at some of it earlier. I just didn't actually, like, use any of it. This is delicious, and now it's not voiced anymore. What is this? I concur. Is it some kind of milk porridge? Well, I guess. We make it with sheep's milk and salt-cured meat. Sheeta and Lily made it fresh for you themselves. Yep, I helped. Wow. That young, and you're already better cooks than me. I really need to get this recipe from you two. Uh, okay. Well, first thing you do is... Your friends all seem like such nice people. It would seem the winds have blessed you with their guidance. I think so too. Okay, let me give you this. Field study envelope, June. Field study day one, morning, assigned tasks. Delivery to the watchtower from Kilt. Could someone deliver something to the soldiers in the Imperial Army's watchtower for me? If so, I'll be at the trading post. Surely sucks, just saying. That's really random? But agreed? But at least she likes cats. I need ingredients for a very important medicine, and I would like to request that you obtain them for me. I will tell you more in person, so please come to speak to me at my home. Okay. Return to Zender. So is this supposed to be... S well, obviously it's a play on sender, but is this another instance where Z's should be read as S's? I'm gonna keep saying sender. I have a very important request for class 7 pertaining to a monster prowling in the highlands. Come speak to me in the commander's room at Zender Gate. For more information, be prepared for battle. Hmm. 
let's see. We'll be helping gather some medicinal herbs and oh, there's even a request from Zendergate. It looks like you've chosen tasks that will help us become familiar with the Highlands. That's the idea. I put a lot of thought into choosing tasks that would give you a nice sweeping overview of life here. As I said yesterday, you should be able to complete all of these requests in the southwestern reaches of the Highlands. Understood. Thanks again. All right, we've got work to do. So we need to finish all of these tasks, then return here by noon. What time is it now? Yep, we'll be having lunch back here in the settlement. Also, I wouldn't recommend leaving the settlement without a horse. The highlands are vast. I'd hate if any of you got lost or collapsed out there because you headed out on foot. That's true. We'd best pay heed to where we're going. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Take care, everyone. The settlement contains three useful facilities. The Elder's Home acts as an orbital factory. The Trading Post acts as a weapon armor shop. The lodging yurt allows you to rest. Visit them whenever you need. Alrighty. Gaius can now use the S-Craft Calamity Hawk. Good for him. Uh, DLC. DLC. That should be in items. DLC. Reen's Casual Clothes. I guess I only have the casual clothes. I don't have the other things. Costumes can now be changed by selecting equip. What does this do for me? Hey. Uh, I don't need you to be in a hoodie. Is Gaius' casual clothes the one I want? Let's just, let's just open all of them. There's the Sepith pack. I'm gonna use that if I get really desperate. You think the orb mint face, plate, face plates are fun too? Okay. Arcus covers can be changed by selecting cover in the shop menu. Okay. Oh, I wasn't I wasn't done with those. Oh, it's like the ones you could buy in Zero and Azure. I see. All right, equip. I guess if I'm gonna be putting everyone in their casual clothes, let's just go all in. I like your vest. Oh, okay. Was not expecting this. Whatever. I kind of wanted him to be in like a suit or something. This is not what I wanted. I was denied. I was denied. I jotted down the recipe for the porridge we have in the mornings. Uh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Cheetah. Thanks for taking the time to do that. Now we'll be able to enjoy it whenever we wish. We'll just use these for a little while until I get tired of looking at them. Good luck with your tasks. I'll be sure to make something extra delicious for our midday meal, so I hope you'll look forward to it. I think I can genuinely say that I will. We'll have to work up a big appetite while we're out. 
do the same thing. While the highlands may be vast, there's a lot for you to see here. I hope you'll learn much. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Be sure to guide them well, Gaius. Of course. Every time he says that, I just keep thinking of may the odds be ever in your favor. 